Hello everyone, and welcome back to our universe. Today, we'll be answering the question, why do stars die? When we look up at the stars, they seem like they've been there forever. Every night we can count seeing the constellations, and we know that they will be there tomorrow night. Many of the stars that we see are actually suns, very similar to our own. So to understand how they die, we have to understand how stars are born. Like everything else in our universe, a star has a lifetime. A star is born from a cluster of gas and dust called a nebula. And once pressure builds up within this nebula, it will bring gas and dust together to produce what is called a protostar. The heat inside a protostar is pretty intense, and when it gets hot enough, it will explode into a star. Basically speaking, when it can actually fuse hydrogen atoms into helium, it creates nuclear fusion, and this basically ignites the star. The core or the centre of the star is a swirl of pressure-treated gases that are consistently battling to keep the balance. It is thought that the entire process takes about 50 million years. Stars come in all different sizes. Our own Sun is considered a medium-sized star. The creation of a star will almost always end up with lots of extra gas and dust. These broil and crush together, and they eventually become asteroids and then planets. A star always has a gravitational pull, and its strength depends on its mass. The more massive a star is, the more of a gravitational pull it will have on objects around it. When we see a star, including our Sun, we are watching it as it burns hydrogen contents in its core. The process takes billions of years and it creates heat that is spun off into the universe. And we experience this when we go outside and feel the heat of the Sun on our skin. You would think more massive stars would live longer, but it's the exact opposite. Larger stars burn up their hydrogen much more quickly than smaller or medium-sized stars. And when this happens, a new process begins, fusing it into heavier elements. When a star doesn't have any more hydrogen, it's like it's being starved. It slowly begins to collapse in on itself. And, in the process, tries to use up all of its resources to create different kinds of materials. When you look at a dying star, we can actually see that it gets larger and the light actually pulsates. This is because it is no longer stable, and it is using everything to keep itself from dying. You might be surprised that at this present point in the star's lifetime, it's actually creating materials like helium, silicon, and oxygen. And the star will continue to create materials until it gets to one point. And that is when the star creates iron. It's all over. Some people are on the pitch, they think it's all over! It is now. Once the core turns to iron, it doesn't actually have the ability to so-called burn anymore. And when a star can't burn anymore due to an iron core, it begins to collapse in on itself. Due to the intense gravitational pull, in just a small amount of time, it can shrink from the size of the Earth to about 6 miles wide. The core continues to heat up to billions of degrees until it finally explodes. This is called a star that is going nova, or a supernova. This explosion blasts out all the material into space. And it may take billions of years for all of that stuff to gain and form a new nebula and make new stars and eventually planets. Stars are born and stars will die, but it's a great way of recycling and creating new materials for the universe. So stars die, so new suns and planets can be created. It's all part of a life process of a star. So if you think about it, our planet is made and grew out of everything around us, and therefore we are made out of star stuff. Elements and materials that were exploded out into space billions of years ago by an ancient sun. Pretty cool. And if you'd like any other information about a star's cycle, I'll put some useful links in the description. So I hope that's given you a great understanding of how stars are born and how they die. 
and of course how they seed the universe around it with the materials that they explode off in a supernova. And as always, if you've enjoyed the video, click the like button, and if you want to support the channel, click subscribe. Thank you for watching.